Well, that section with Kate said started out great, but it ended up being kind of a drag. It's also very difficult to play as Kate Sith by himself when you're not really familiar with Kate Sith. Um, it was a struggle. What did you guys think about that? I didn't really like that section that much. I feel like if I played it through a second time after learning how to play Kate Sith a little bit better, it would be a lot of fun. But throwing those boxes was kind of crap. Anyways, thankfully that is all done with and we can move on forward with the story. Let's do it. Enjoy guys. Now that everyone is reunited, the search for the terminal can continue. Kate Sith is dead on finding it, but that leaves one empty spot in your party. More threats may be lurking within, so choose your comrade wisely. Oh. Okay, so Cloud and Kate Sith, and then one other. Well, all of my people kick ass, so... Let's bring you Fian. Why do they make this so eerie? Door is locked. Why is it so spooky? Why is it so spooky? Core's a bit grim, no? Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. His voice I'm... is so deep. Security. Uh... Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Card. He's being quite cooperative. <sighs> hmm? <sighs> there. Oh. <laughs> Did you try turning it on, Vincent? <laughs> The power you button. Have the authorization, at least. Oh, great. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it. But there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? Oh. Oh. Sephiroth. A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane. And he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet, unless we stop him. I see. Then I've 
One more sin to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Bye, Vincent. <laughs> Don't mind if we do, I guess. It's a bit of a, a strange one. You need anything? Some water? Okay. Okay, Mr. Creepy Vampire Man. Barrett, leave him alone. Let the man sleep. Barrett. Chill out. <laughs> there she is. Cloud, my boy. Still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? here oh no I don't recall giving you permission to go in there oh it was an honest mistake we didn't mean any ah! put my kitty down yeah. <laughs> I'm cute, so don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me! Please! I can explain! Drop it. We're gonna fight Vincent. Please Why tell me we're gonna I? fight Vincent. He's trespassing, like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I.
That's so cool. Look at that mane. buffing but I don't have those abilities do I I'm not on these characters I think Tifa has one inflicting enough damage will pressure him making him flinch during inner turmoil or chaotic consumption will make him easier to pressure until he recovers weak to fire deal with that Be for the hell. <laughs> your turn now Here we go. Oh dear, what is he doing? Oh! He got me! Got me now! How you like this? Huh? Alright, let's get our doppelganger. This calls for more Yuffie! More Yuffie! Never have enough Yuffie. And then we'll do a shooting star. Kick ass. Alright. Alright, let's see. What kind of stuff do we want to do here? We have barrier. Take the lead. Bring it. Mogul magic. Use an unequipped sun summons ability. Oh. What? Oh. I didn't understand this. Okay, so use it. An equipped summons ability can only be can only use while riding the Mughal during battles in which summons are available. Galleon beast. Because I suddenly choke those. Try that again. Keep that guard up. Suddenly chocobos. Oh, 
Over. That's it. I got this. All right. He's staggered. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end? Temple is. 
Let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet. Come on. But Vincent. But Vincent. Oh, Cloud's my leader again. Okay, good. Boy, oh boy. That was a fight. That was a fight. Is Vincent my Hisbondo in this game? Hmm. Good question. We will see. We will have to see. Let's get out of here. Think there might be top secret material hidden somewhere here? Uh, that all you ever think about? <sighs> well, it's you, me, for trying to be helpful. <sighs> made all of the pain and suffering that I went through that previous section worth it. Vincent Valentine made it worth it. And I'm sure we haven't seen the last of him. Okay, next stop, the temple. Hear that black materia? I'm coming for you. Oh man, my rep's gonna go through the roof. Well, it ain't like it could go down. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's on. So, <laughs> where is it? Hi. About that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now if you really wanted. Hmm? But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The Gold Saucer. I know, it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank well, you. Thank if you. we got thank her, you. once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. Ah! Second gold saucer trip time hype. Oh. Take a little, little rest, a little wee break. I don't know how long till we get back to the gold saucer. I don't know what's in between. Okay, but let's go. What's this? Uh oh. oh, oh. Sorry, I'm so late to the party. Oh, shit. My <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Round of applause. Our long-awaited reunion. Whoa. 
He's been enhanced by Hojo. I'm not going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. Oh shit. Wow. Bring me the black materia. <laughs> My desire to see you has driven me on. You okay over there? That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So let's cut it one last time! He's mine! <laughs> 1v1! Let's go! Oh shit, he's dodging every... Shut the fuck up. Allow me. Inflicting damage after he performs special attacks will pressure him. No weaknesses. Brother. Come on. Oh my god, yeah, I could feel that I'm about to die. Come on. Yeah. we can use here like um pace that's awesome <laughs> Just a little bit. Here we 
Final form. Uh, uh, uh. I won't have your pity. This is a race, remember? Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch. Degrading at a like accelerated rate. My friend. That's why he said this is the final. Oh, Roche. to you don't worry yeah she's right you're gonna be Fuck. just fine come on the gilded saucer awaits and the keystone yeah that's sad roche was such an interesting <laughs> character like he was very entertaining sad to see him go look
supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, Put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch! This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us, Wu Tai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Who exactly is this Saruf? The Invisible Man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn... what's his name? Lodbrock. Glenn Lodbrock, ma'am. Ex-soldier, P-0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lodbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. <laughs> Pity about Saruf. Would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. 
Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the salsa? Paul Sid? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kixef? Hey, cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Look! Smoke! Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Breaking news at this hour. Cloud! Chadley. I'm picking up protorel Chadley. energy signals from a group of robed individuals. You are? Indeed, though I'm unable to ascertain why. So, check it out? How very <laughs> astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is they're going. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the S... All right, we'll deal with that later. I'm thinking straight to the gold saucer. Um, so clearly. The, um, the Wu Tai people. Oh, look, there he is. What's he doing there already? We'll call him. In it, the president denounced the SRC's claims as baseless propaganda and dismissed their alleged Moscow reactor footage as a digital fabrication. The company has launched an investigation into the individual who delivered the address, as well as the nature of the organization he claims to represent. Breaking news at this hour. Okay, so, yeah. That video evidence was clearly like Shinra said either a fabrication or not the whole footage because we saw there were both Shinra and Wu Tai people down at the reactor and I'm pretty sure Wu Tai probably attacked them first but I don't know anyways so yeah I guess that Lodbrock guy Glenn is an ex well i mean they said it outright but yeah he's an ex soldier and then he now he's like with wu tai but it's just weird like what is he what are his motives what is his goal exactly let's go see sid hey stood up no nope. Waiting on you folks. Something I wanted to ask. About your mother. Her name's Afalna, right? Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? No. She's dead. <clears throat> you know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. 
But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. You were knee-high to a Tonberry. And I was what? Called a smogger, I'd wager. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? Uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. Then again, if you're just dying to help, you could take us to the salsa for free. Free? It's fine. We'll pay. <laughs> Now it's on me. When you Why? want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Why is everyone in this game so goddamn beautiful? Man. This whole game is just a giant thirst trap. Men and women, all of them. My god. Not Hojo. What is wrong with you? Hey, good to go? Let's get a move on then. Uh -huh. Huh. An eight? Whoa! <laughs> You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Hmm. I love the eye animations in this. <laughs> Take a seat. It's so good. Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. Uh, but most pilots aren't sick. I win. <laughs> the whole team is coming together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <gasps> I'm sure Vincent weighs kind of a lot. Like he's got all that metal metal arm. He's like hey, tall. Sid, I was wondering, could you tell me a little more about my mom? Sure. I was greener than Mako when I met a Palmer. She took my heart for a spin. Not you, Sid. Aaron. Yeah? What happened to your mother? Did she get sick? The doctors always said she had a weak constitution, and trying to escape didn't help. I think she just pushed herself too hard, all so that I could be free. I'm sorry. At least she went out on her own terms. Did she? Even if she didn't, you should honor her memory by enjoying the life she gave you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Sid is so sweet! Hey, don't know if y'all heard. Wu Tai's finally made a move against Shinra. Might be war. And as Midgar's been bombed to hell and back, Shinra's gotta be on the ropes. War isn't worth celebrating. Ever. Exactly. This will affect everyone. For the worse. It's like when Sephiroth shows up. Nobody wins. Uh, what a related thought. If war is 
is officially declared, it will be long before borders start closing. So, if you've got somewhere to be, you might want to get a wee shuffle on. Ah! That's what not the? good! Sid? Hey, Sid? I heard you the first time. Just sit tight, everything's under control. <laughs> Just sit tight. This beauty's maintained by an expert and piloted by a professional. Y'all are in good hands. How are you so calm right now? Oh, God. You sure? Because I think that was the engine. Uh, get off my ass and sit tight like I told you to. What was it? Altitude. We're on we fire! Screwed, people! Hey! All right! Race for emergency landing! Oh, Any landing you can swim away from! <laughs> you almost killed Why us! Is he <laughs> Chapter Twelve. Okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And? What of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So, you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. <laughs> ah, look at hey, this. Mind filling us in on the keystone before we arrive? Gladly. About 20 years back, one of our more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to company records, the keystone was housed there. Wait a second. I thought you said it was at the gold saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. Kind of threat. There was a... Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a total flop. Closed as soon as it opened. But, somewhere between cutting the ribbon and boarding up the windows, the keystone vanished into thin air. So it's not at the saucer? Do you know where it went? No, but I know a man who went. The former curator. Do you? Hmm? How do you know that name? Let's just say, I've been around a while. After the museum debacle, all deal was devoted, only to be promoted again when the saucer took off. Made director in no time, a real riches to rags to riches story. All of which is why we're bound for the saucer. The uh, dialogue is a bit quiet. All right, full speed ahead! Damn, the water looks so good, doesn't it? Alright, let's see. So we're here. 
We're gonna go here, close to Del Sol. Okay. Remember this, Yuffie? Wasn't this so much fun? Hey, see, did I hear right? You used to work for Shinra. Still do, on occasion. The boys got their uses. That's gonna be a problem. You see, we don't take kindly to friends of the company. And I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. Man who tries to lord his power over me is gonna wish he didn't. That's what's appealing about the skies. And I'm all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. This is beautiful. We're close. I hope Johnny's all built up by now. Damn it, his hotel sound like uh, feelings. Bad chance. Oh, his hotel. He probably got drifted again. Beautiful. And was himself to sleep every night. any further. Well, can I get to land? Alright, how do I get off? Oh, maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to go. I probably gotta go further. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. What do you think? Of course. Girl always knows just what to say. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Another loner. As if <laughs> one wasn't enough for pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> Did you he not? Me? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know. Now that the tiny Bronco is able to cross the Meridian o Ocean, you can fast travel to any location from the map. Nice. The SRC's declaration of war against Shinra was the shot heard around the world unsettling folks everywhere. Check the notice boards as you travel to locations both old and new to see if anyone needs help from a hand for hire. Oh, Lord. The attractions at the Gold Saucer have undergone a series of renovations, as have minigames available in other regions. Try revisiting familiar locations and seeing what new challenges await. No, I don't want to do all that. Come on. What? This is too much. <sighs> Shit. Hello? <laughs> okay, like... Uh, first of all, like... You ready to jet? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I just wanted to ask you, why are you so hot? And then you too. Why... Why are you so hot? Why are we all so beautiful? Um, 
Um... How is this possible? And how did they make every single one of these... <laughs> like, look at this cast. Look at, it's all of us together. All of us together in this game. And how did they make every character like such so improved like every character is just they're i i don't even know they're just better they're just all better in in so many ways like everybody's just got so much personality they're so likable the voice actress does so such a good job the the facial animations are so good everything is so good <laughs> Like, hello? They did put a lot of effort. Like, Yuffie's so awesome. Kate Sith is so awesome. Red is so awesome. Sid is different. <laughs> but I like it. But I hope we get some tea or something later, you know? I mean, we are going to go to Rocket Town eventually, right? I do want to do with all that with Shira and stuff. And Matt Mercer as Vincent. And look at his swag. Look at this cape. You guys know I have a thing for capes, right? Capes are cool. I'm sorry, Kate Sith, but your cape is... <laughs> it's not It's not that cool anymore. I'm sorry. Yours is still nice. I still like it, but... <laughs> Kate's doing his best. <laughs> 